Hello everybody, Caleb here from Molten Sword Gaming, and today I'm going to be talking about hashtag Halo 5 hype. So recently I heard the leaked soundtrack for Halo 5 with the menu music, and uh, man, is it just outstanding. Uh, it really reminds me of the old Halo 3, uh, don't make a girl a promise if you know you can't keep it part, and man, oh, it just ran shivers down my spine because it's so good. Um, and it just reminds me of the old days of Halo CE 2 and 3, when that hardcore arena style was just, you know, the crap. <laughs> and so I can't wait for Halo 5, but that brings up the question, can Halo 5 really be compared to the original trilogy? So will Halo 5, is there a possibility it will be better than Halo CE 2 and 3? Now I think there's always a possibility, but so far I think the community's reaction to it and just how it is in general, no. Halo 2 is my favorite Halo game, and in my opinion, one of the best video games of all time. Maybe not the best, but it's definitely my favorite video game of all time. Now, Halo 5 doesn't have split screen, and that's a defining feature in how I'm going to be rating this game when I review it, because I'm getting it launched. Um, split screen is one of those things that, if you don't use it, you really don't care. If you do use it, it's horrible that it's, it's not going to have split screen, especially if you don't have Xbox Live, then you can't play really at all unless you're doing campaign, then I mean, what are you going to do, just sit by yourself in a custom game? So I understand that, and especially with myself, I was telling a lot of my friends, oh yeah, Halo 5 is coming out great, and they were like, oh yeah, dude, I totally wanted to get that game, and I was like, but yeah, you know, it, it does kind of suck, admittedly, that it doesn't have split screen, and they're like, oh dude, no, I'm not touching Halo 5, never mind, um, and yeah, that's disappointing, but for me, I think I'm going to enjoy the game nonetheless, because, you know, Destiny I enjoy, even though I know it, <laughs> it's kind of a, it, yeah, admittedly, it's a pay-to-win game completely, but I do enjoy it, and it doesn't have split-screen, so I know the tradition of Halo, where it does have split-screen, but I think for one game, I can go without it, but in other cases, I love, love how they're bringing back the arena style, not the Halo 4 style, because I like how they're kind of bringing the you know, major big team battle like they were doing in 4 and Warzone. And yeah, I think everyone likes to play casually every once in a while, but nothing in Halo really beats the arena style, the hardcore arena style, where when you get kills, you know that <laughs> you're doing pretty good. I mean, as long as your KD doesn't reflect how horrible of a player you are, uh, depending on who you are. But honestly, who does it? Who pretty much everyone that played Halo 4 missed the classic arena style. I mean, yeah, it's fun to, you know, get an amazing KD even though you really didn't deserve it, but, you know, I, I, I miss the hardcore style, and I actually had to get in custom games to have that hardcore style uh, back in Halo, so Halo 5, I'm going to welcome it, welcome it with open arms. Uh, if it disappoints me, that will definitely be reflected in my review, because I think I'm biased, because I, I like 3 for 3, but everyone has to admit MCC was a mistake even if they didn't directly make it and they hired other companies to make it they still produced it and put their name on it and Halo 4 that's honestly I mean imagine this there's this masterpiece that was made before three games and then they had you know the two others which Halo reaches now I think the community thinks yeah that that's a masterpiece at least compared to Halo 4 but they had to pick up this masterpiece and you know the standard was so high and they had to make a game you know just as good if not better otherwise the community would just be pissed and would just hate it and you know I think they they tried to mix it up and not just give you know what Bunty did and just chew it up and spit out as a new game you know they like to mix it up and you know I award them for that good job but you know listen to the community and they did so I'm going to give them an honest shot, an unbiased objective, you know, if this game is good, I will say it's good, and you know, you know I'm going to let you guys make your own choice if you want to buy the game or not, but I'm going to encourage you, if it is a genuinely amazing game, to pick it up, or at least try it, you know, at one of your friend's house, um, but if it is just an awful game, and they, you know, were a little try hard on it, or the hype was too big, and the game what didn't deliver kind of like destiny then i will tell you guys and say probably shouldn't pick this one up maybe just try it once at a friend's house anyways guys i think halo 5 will not be better than halo 2 but 
and it may fall around the range of reach as far as um, how much I like it or maybe even the community you know some of the community because I, I don't like and uh, I think uh, Zertrukio pointed this out he said I, I think they're kind of splitting up the community with Warzone the casual style and Arena and I definitely could see that and that would be disappointing but you know maybe they're just saying one big game different game modes you know one classic franchise anyways guys uh, I'll hit you up with that review when the game actually releases and I'll also be getting the special edition Master Chief controller which I'm really excited for and for Christmas I'm definitely getting Fallout 4 anyways guys I'll see you next time on Molten Sword Gaming